The deadline has passed and all defendants in the Georgia indictment involving former President Donald Trump have surrendered. That includes two from the Chicago area, Trevian Kuti and Stephen Lee. Former President Donald Trump is facing and fundraising off his historic booking photo after surrendering Thursday to authorities in Atlanta. Trump and 18 others are charged criminally with conspiring to overturn Georgia's 2020 presidential election results. CBS 2's Natalie Brand is the latest from Washington, D.C. Hi, Marie. Erica, yeah, as you mentioned, the very last co-defendants to turn themselves in today just ahead of that noon deadline in Georgia were the Chicago-based co-defendants. That's Travian Kuti, former publicist for R. Kelly and Kanye West, as well as Orland Park pastor Stephen Lee. He was actually the very last to surrender to authorities in Georgia today. They are part of the 19 co-defendants in this case. The former president, meanwhile, he's back in New Jersey, but already campaigning off of his historic mugshot. It's former President Donald Trump's fourth criminal indictment, but his first time having a mugshot taken. What has taken place here is a travesty of justice. We did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong. He arrived at the Fulton County Jail in Atlanta Thursday to be booked on charges that he and 18 co-defendants schemed to reverse his 2020 election loss in Georgia. We have every right, every single right to challenge an election that we think is dishonest, that we think it's very dishonest. In an interview with Newsmax, the former president called his booking a terrible experience, but it hasn't kept him from selling mugshot merchandise on his campaign website. He also returned to X, formerly known as Twitter, for the first time since being banned in January 2021. He posted his booking photo writing, quote, I will never surrender our mission. While Trump is fundraising off this latest indictment, he's also taking the Georgia charges very seriously. His legal team now includes Atlanta-based lawyer Stephen Sadow, who specializes in high-profile defense cases. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman has tried cases alongside Sadow. When he speaks, believe me, you turn and listen. In terms of strategy, he is also aggressive. Overnight, former Justice Department official Jeffrey Clark was among those who turned themselves in ahead of a deadline today. The 19 co-defendants could be arraigned as soon as next month. Now, on Monday here in Washington, D.C., there's a hearing scheduled in the former president's federal case related to January 6th and the alleged efforts to overturn the 2020 election. The president, the former president, not required to be here in person that day, but we could learn more on Monday about a trial date for that case. Erica Marie. All right. Natalie, thank you.